Through the years, Hammond Robotics has always built the weapons you use to help keep enemies at bay. Tensions exploded into all out war on the frontier today. And Hammond Robotics will always develop the machines that are the cornerstones of any endeavor to keep our military safe. The group calling themselves the militia have conducted numerous raids on IMC. As the leader in the industry, we only build the best. That has been our legacy. Now this conjunction of an immense military establishment and a large arms industry, the total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city, every state house, every office of the federal government. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. Welcome back guys and today we're going to talk about Lifeline's dark secret past. Now there's not much lore about her past but we can start connecting the pieces together to get an overall big picture theory going on here. So to start out Lifeline's family is very rich. So as a kid she probably never understood how her parents were making money but she later discovered through this info that we got is that her father was a war profiteer so we don't know exactly how he made his money but we do know is that he was making his money off of selling probably weapons now we don't know if he was selling weapons to the imc only or the militia or some other small time groups or just anybody who wanted weapons but he was making a lot of money and so what it comes down to it is that eventually aj Shea or lifeline she realized that her fortune the way the the life she lived, the lavish life she had was all in part of the pain and misery that was the titan for wars and many um, civil wars and whatever problems were on in the outlands. Now a lot of people were saying that Lifeline's father probably is a high ranking member or some kind of CEO or some kind of board of directors of the Kodai industry. For those of you who don't know what the Kodai industry is, um, basically the IMC had um, Hammond Robotics and they were like the brand. They were the ones that created the technology and the designs and Kodai were the ones that actually built the Titans. It says right here on the wiki. So after the war, I'm not sure if Hammond still uses them to build the, their designs or if they now do it themselves. But Kodai was influential in Hammond Robotics with the IMC. So there was a three-way party here where Kodai will make the Titans. Hammond Robotics were the ones who designed sign the titan so a lot of people were saying because lifeline has a headband and it says and it clearly you can see the kodai industries logo people were saying that maybe her dad was either involved or somehow was a high-ranking member with the kodai industry but i don't think that's the case and here's why now it's not said but it's kind of implied that lifeline and her dad had a big fallout and i'm guessing it's because lifeline was mad that her dad tried to keep this a secret from her or didn't tell her so they went their separate ways and i'm guessing lifeline's dad was mad at her because she doesn't understand i'm guessing is that the reason he did this was for her but he did it for the wrong reasons because now lifeline feels guilty that a lot of people are suffering and she's living a really good life but at the cost of many people's suffering losing their lives their family their placement so she joined the frontier corp to try to at least restore a bit of her humanity knowing that a a lot of it it's kind of her family's fault now it wasn't exactly all her family's fault but she knows that her dad had a huge part now the frontier corp is actually like the red cross for us but except they're actually funded by some kind of entity that recently cut all their funding everything so they can no longer they don't have the funds to really um help anybody in the outlands or the core so lifeline actually joined the games to fund them and this is where i think the kodai um thing comes along so she and her dad had a fallout and i seriously doubt that she will just wear a kodai 
um, headband to promote her dad's business if he works for them for no reason. What I'm guessing is is that Kodai, because remember, Lifeline only gets money if she, I guess, wins or places high. I don't, we don't know how it works, but I'm guessing that she took them on as a sponsor, which is kind of hypocritical because Kodai really is responsible for a lot of, uh, well, they build the weapons and then you know, send them to the IMC, but you can see how it's kind of hypocritical. But Kodai being spo sponsoring Lifeline, in a way, she gets money regardless if she wins or not to be donated to them and if she does win she takes that money price money and gives it to the fortnite corp and even so because she wears that i'm guessing that kodai also sponsors her image where they um they sponsor her image saying that hey she wants to help the outland so go donate to the frontier corp so in a way it's kind of a it's a shady thing to do but i understand why she did it because that way she has income coming to the frontier corp also her winnings and also it raises awareness so in my mind it makes sense why she would take them as a sponsor not because her dad might have worked with them well we don't we know she her dad doesn't work with them because here's another thing if she if he did work for kodai industries why will he let her daughter participate in a blood sport and instead of just you know donating the money that way she can stay in the frontier corp and not have to participate in the game so this is what i'm saying is that things are really bad with her family that even her own dad refuses to donate money to the frontier corp for her to stay there and keep herself safe and help people to to kind of redeem what her family did but because that's not happening i'm guessing that kodai has nothing to do with her father and it's something completely different organization and they were the only ones who were willing to give her a sponsorship now we know sponsorships are a thing because forge was being sponsored by hammond robotics now this will explain how lifeline is well i guess she's not being sponsored to join the games but she's sponsoring them um legends because we know she's a legend because she's won you have to win one game to be considered a legend so i'm guessing when she won one game in the apex games that's when her kodai sponsorship came with her prize money and the sponsorship that they would donate to the frontier corp it makes sense why she would do it even though it's kind of hypocritical and shady it, the fact that they're being funded means that the operation will be kept alive okay guys so let me know if you want a second part to this video because i could it kind of explain how um lifelines family hurt every individual legend in the games and future legend legends to come because they all have one thing in common they all have been affected by the war even after it's been over the scars and the pain still follow them to this day and so yeah guys so i'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Screaming over the away green tone. I'll keep on repenting for that night so long ago. Then your hands disappear. I'll still find the place where you are here. So go without saying a goodbye.